Like the landscape here in Kauai is so different to the other islands. It's like red rock. Literally look at these views that we are seeing right here. Wow. That is so epic. <gasps> you see little waterfalls down there. Is it picking up on camera? I keep trying to tell Stephen that he needs to enjoy these moments where we can just go out into the pool. No worries at all. Aloha everybody and welcome back to Hawaii. If you're just tuning in, we're currently exploring the islands out here and we just flew in from the big island and we've arrived in Kauai. So when planning this trip to Hawaii, our goal was to visit three very different islands and the first one, the big island, that was very rugged, volcanic, mountainous and very big. And now we've only been maybe 30 minutes here in Kauai and it is so green, so lush. It feels like we've landed just inside the middle of a jungle and we can't wait to start exploring. But first, when we arrived, we got our rental car and we've just checked in to Kaloa Landing. And when we arrived, they actually gave us lays. They even gave Steven a male lay. I didn't know this was a thing, but this is the male version. And it's kind of cool that when we checked in, they just gave this to us. But I want to show you guys around because they actually gave us a two bedroom apartment which I was like, what? But hey, we both have our own bedrooms. <laughs> but I'm moving around. So when we were looking at a place to stay, I wanted to make sure we stayed at a hotel that was more like an apartment. So we have our own kitchen, we have our own washing machine and dryer, and we've got a pool. That is definitely happening every day that we're here in Kauai. So you come through here, we have a full living room. There's Stephen with a, <laughs> Stephen with a bag. And then we have a fully stocked kitchen. We have an oven, a microwave, a blender, a coffee maker, a toaster, a stove top. And as you can see, they spared no expense with the size of this place. And here is our bedroom, the main bedroom, deciding if I get this one or Jess gets this one. Show them the bathroom in this one. Yeah. That's why this one's my one. <laughs> this is the huge bathroom. So we have a bath just here, vanity for him, vanity for her, and also, a huge shower as well. They also left us chocolate covered macadamia nuts. Oh, yeah. I, I feel like these are Hawaiian, right? Yeah, since 1927. Yeah, ages they've been making these. So let's try this. And then if you come through here, this is the second bedroom. So this is like great if you're coming with friends or family. You could all just stay in one place but still have enough room. As we always say, Cleo, where are you? And Jess said it perfectly. I feel like we're currently in an Adam Sandler movie. You know when he's like, I just want to go on vacation. So he writes the whole script around just going to somewhere beautiful. That's what this place feels like. <laughs> so, we just were on the way to dinner and we found a pre-dinner <laughs> snack. <laughs> There's like s'mores right out in the resort. Oh, which is pretty good. I don't know if I should be having... Nah. There's no question we should be having this before dinner. <laughs> yeah, it's like our entree, right? <laughs> I am finally trying a poke and they've presented this so nicely. It's like a ahi with ginger on top of rice. You've all told us that we have to try this. Yeah, so many Unfortunately, people. it is raw fish, so only Stevie can go for it, but I'm very jealous right now. Oh, okay, sorry. Gotta get a bit of everything. Oh, no! Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous. Oh, there's Ava on here. You would love this, Jess. <laughs> you smashed that up. I'm gonna get a nice bit of it. Okay, that's gonna do. It'll look cool. Go for it. Mm. Is this like bad to say? It just tastes like I'm having sushi. <laughs> yeah, it is like sushi. Really good. Wow. How's it taken us this long to try it? Yeah, chocolate lava cake. Anticlimactic. Where's the goo? Watching our first sunset here in Kauai. So nice. I think because they found where all the food happens. Yeah, but you never see wild chickens. I think what happened was 
Weren't they saying that there was like a hurricane? And then all the chickens got released and then they've become from domesticated to wild. Yeah, so, reverse domesticated they called yeah. it, didn't it? <laughs> so the islands are just covered in chickens. But we've come out to a really popular spot for breakfast. It's called Little Fish Coffee. And we've grabbed ourselves some bagels because I feel like bagels in America taste so good. Not the same as Australia. That's, That's one thing they do really well here. Oh my, look at that bagel. Yum. Nothing here is ever what it seems to the stranger than a dream when you see the heart sing. First stop on our little road trip around the island, Wamiya National Park. So this is kind of cool. We're just driving out to the lookout and we just saw this red rock, almost just bright red, with a waterfall going through it and it looks so unique that we just had to quickly pull over the car. Like the landscape here in Kauai is so different to the other islands it's like red rock yeah are we in like Green. northern territory right now like look at this wow i can totally see why this area where mia is known as the grand canyon of hawaii literally look at these views that we are seeing right here and just in the distance over there you can see a waterfall just peeking out of that luscious green jungle I definitely don't want to take away from the Grand Canyon because that is a must-see but here in Hawaii I think because it's quite compact like the Grand Canyon sometimes it can be so big that it all just blends into one but here you can just see all these cliff drops we're seeing a helicopter out there and it is so small and it really puts into perspective just how big this place is okay guys I think we've worked out a hack so if you're coming out to the canyon just down the road we stopped off at the lookout and you have to pay five dollars for your vehicle to park and of course the lookout there was breathtaking but we just realized if you drive just like two or three minutes down the road and stop you'll see an epic little hidden lookout overlooking the waterfall for free so we're going to go check that out I know on the camera that it looks just as far away the waterfall as the lookout is but here it is way closer and you can just see this fog just coming through. As with all the islands we found out here in Hawaii the weather can change like that. Luckily it's not raining it's just fog and it has this little eeriness to it and it's super cool. This, the blanket of fog has covered the road. It's like moody. Oh my goodness, this fog. Well, we are at a lookout. Is that what it says? I can't read it. <laughs> <laughs> so, here's the amazing view. <laughs> I think we might have to hang out here for a couple of minutes or. Hopefully, it goes away soon. <laughs> yeah, because this is meant to be the most beautiful view when it actually does clear. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is so epic. <gasps> you see little waterfalls down there. Is it picking up on camera? Kinda, oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. We waited half an Seeing hour. Seeing this place in a helicopter would be insane. But the forecast I don't think is good enough. Yeah. Oh my. Oh, it's kind of coming back. Wow. Look at that, guys. That this is. like one of the coolest islands I've ever seen. <laughs> wow. Someone's getting excited. Can they see what we can see? Wow, guys, so this is the kind of picture perfect postcard the shot. Nepali coast. Nepali coast. Um, and wow, absolutely incredible. The fog is just clearing. A little bit of rain, so I can almost see like a bit of a rainbow as well. This is oh, so beautiful. I want to see this by boat. I know, but. They don't let pregnant people. What's in there? So... <laughs> you can kind of see it now. I'm so glad we waited for the fog to lift because the views from there were unreal. I've never seen anything like it. Like it really looks like you've stepped into Jurassic Park. And unfortunately, we're only here in Kauai for two days and both days all the helicopter tours have been cancelled because of the weather. But I've heard that if you can do a helicopter ride or a cruise, like a boat ride over the Nepali coast, it looks breathtaking. But if you are pregnant and come to Kauai, just so you know, the waters can get quite rough so that they don't let any expectant mothers to go on any of the cruises because the water can get quite bumpy and rough but um wow at least I got to see it 
like the littlest bit of it from this viewpoint. Hey, another reason to come back. True. Steve and then he needs to enjoy these moments where we can just go out into the pool, no worries at all. <laughs> Hi Bubs. So we've come out to the pool area and we, <laughs> oh hello. Oh, it's so cold Jeez. though. How pregnant are you? Oh. Almost I'm, seven months. I'm kidding. We come out to the pool and uh, this resort is humongous. It's like, it's got three pools. Three pools and it's a water slide. You should go down now. Guys, we've been here all afternoon. I feel and like when the weather doesn't really uh, go your way, you just go chill in the pools and have some drinks. Yeah, they do like a local drink here. What is it, like rum and sugar cane or something? I think so. Mine's just... Double the rum. Double the rum. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> and it comes with like a little pineapple. It tastes like what an Adam Sandler vacation movie tastes like. And because of the bad weather, there's absolutely no one in the pool. So it's oh. just us. It's all cleared up to be honest. Got it to ourselves. So official first day here in Kauai and we've heard it is a very wet island. One of the wettest places in the world they say and we can confirm that it is very wet. So what do we do when it's wet? We find a place that does really good fish tacos. Fish tacos. Yum. We just like we're walking along the road, saw a very popular taco spot. There's so many taco places here, and I was like, Steve, we should try at least one. So we got three different types of tacos, and we are loving the food here in Kauai. We love this island. So we're currently staying in the south of the island, and today we've decided to come up to the North Shore. This is where all the best beaches are. And after driving around the island, it only took us an hour, by the way, to get from the bottom to the top. And I really feel like this island, it's like stuck in the 50s or 60s. Like all the places look really old, but really like cool and beachy. It's kind of like vintage, but that kind of fits the, fits the island. vintage. Yeah, like mm -hmm. Beach Boys, Elvis, Hawaii type stuff. Yeah. Her voice is green. How can I go on this way? And he smiles. Seeing it's raining over in the North Shore, we decided to drive over to the east for dessert. And uh, we found a little food truck selling shave ice. A guy singing some live music and. It's a good way to spend the day. I think so, especially because it's made out of like an 80s caravan. It looks so cool. I got the Wailua Sunrise, pineapple and orange, and I may have added ice cream. We, ru we run away from the rain to get some frozen rain. I don't even know why I'm having this shaped ice. Last time I had this, well, you guys remember. Steve is dying right now because he can't. He can't handle brain freezes. Hello. Even though we've had quite a wet time here in Kauai, on the way out, we were greeted to the most beautiful rainbow. But we have one more island we're going to check out. So if you are new around here, make sure you hit subscribe and we'll see you guys in Hawaii next time.